Hello everybody, welcome to Freedom Ranch. I am Brooke and I am here to give you an update as to what has been happening on the ranch the last week. Chuck and I had to go out of town for a business trip, so unfortunately we were not able to be here for the last logs to be put in position, but they did some amazing work while we were gone and I can't wait to show you what's going on with that. Uh, also last week and before we left, we started building a hog pen. Gabe has decided that he will be in charge of the hogs. So hopefully in the next week or two, we'll be getting 10 to 20 of them, I believe. So it'll be our first official animal on Freedom Ranch, which we are really looking forward to getting. So the boys started building the shelter for the hogs last weekend. And um, it was really, really cold. It had snowed a little bit. So I didn't participate a whole lot in helping them. <laughs> I was a wimp. But anyways, um, and then this weekend today, we are uh, working some more on building that and getting the fencing started for at least the beginning holding pen. And then we'll expand on from there. So we're thrilled that we're finally gonna get some animals and get really focused on building more infrastructure for our horses. Hopefully the fencing will start the next week or two, probably two weeks. But um, now that the kids are done with wrestling season, our weekends are opened up, which means that we can make more progress and uh, get things moving. So enjoy the journey with us. Thanks for joining. These are all the beams for the second floor. And that's for the loft. And then the big centerpiece, the beautiful tree. On Monday, they will be putting this puppy up. So I will be here to film it. Can't wait to see it go up into position. Today we're going to be building out the hog pen, or at least the first little section of it. Um, this is where we're going to have all the food and water and such, and the uh, actual pen for the hogs, or not the pen, the uh, house, I guess you'd call it. A little shelter, right? Shelter, mm -hmm. yeah. So we're going to start by drilling out the fence post holes and setting those in, and then we're going to come along with the hog wire and take some U-nails and nail up to it. What's the size? The size? the size. Decent, I don't know. <laughs> Once this is fairly level, we're gonna then start putting posts in here, 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 here. That becomes the found formation of the infrastructure. This will be the main pen, the one that, and then Gabe designed three gates that will go off into the woods from there. So we'll have this concentration area, mm -hmm. but then Gabe's gonna create this you know these three gates and then he's going to run a fence down in the woods and then split it into three paddocks okay those three paddocks then will allow us to rotate the hogs to each paddock give it given the the woods a lot of rest in between mm -hmm. so that we can keep the amount of parasites and things like that down okay if we go through the woods we're just wasting that little chunk of woods there that was like my original idea and then you said we're going to go in the woods a little bit because i didn't want to be too close to the road <laughs> Well, now you're saying we're going to go next to the road. So right. What, so what as I it? pondered, see, I, this is the thing about your father. I'm open to change with better information. Let so. me get a zoom up on that one. Yeah. <laughs> open to change with better information. <laughs> and, and plus, it becomes my idea, so then it's a great idea. I mean, it all works out. Hey, you take the right credit here? away from your son. That's not fair, is hey. it, Gabriel? Is that fair? Sure. <laughs> you're just say no.
progress and we'll change in design. I was going to say, I'm like, that doesn't look like what you guys had planned. No, he's going to do a little different. Okay. So. so what are you doing, Gabe? So instead of doing an L shape, we figured that would be too complex with the roof and stuff. We just decided to do a basic rectangle for the house. So what we're going to do is we're going to wall on that wall, that wall, and this wall here. And probably leave this one and this one open and then have a roof over it so they have, have kind of a more open area to hang out and stuff. And nice. then we might just bring the wall halfway to here. How tall will the roof be? Not tall enough to walk in. So we'd have to like crouch down if we had to go in there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, that'll give them a good shelter. It's all they need is they don't need a high wall, a high ceiling. Okay. So. Okay. And essentially these back ones right here will be kind of functioning as part of the fence. Okay. So we're going to continue the fence off this post here. So that will be the opening where we bring the pigs in and yes. corral them out. The we need it. Okay. So the cool thing about what we're doing here is as I research forest raised pigs in this part of the country, they really don't need shelter, especially in the warmer months. We kind of built this so that they would have uh, winter shelter if we right raise them through the winter, uh, but they're generally not gonna really need it. But what we are building here, which is I think pretty cool, is basically a place for us to keep a sow and we'll put some little guardrails in the in there so that she can't lay on her babies. Okay. But this will be like a farrowing hut okay. at the end. Yeah. And I think that'll be, so that, that'll be the purpose of this. Once we raise the first batch of pigs out, we'll keep a sow back when she's ready to have her babies. Um, we'll then, then she can uh, do it in here. The farrowing yeah. hut. Ten foot 
length would be perfect. So hopefully they sell it in 10 foot lengths. guys just got back from the store they informed Bree and I that we needed to get dressed to come help them because I guess we need to finish the hog pen tonight because we have some baby piggies coming tomorrow I believe they got 12 of them lawn up here and then the rest will come out this way not on this little piece but on, on the bigger ones okay so and, that, bigger. and that will keep the piggies from getting out well the idea is to keep them from digging out. Yeah. So this wire that we're using was leftover wire from um, the yurt. The yurt. Yes.
Oh, you did? Good. A lot easier than what we did yesterday, huh? <gasps> nice! Now I'm going to throw a curve down. Wow. That's great. Hi, Capone. The wrap around here. Boom, boom. For the, to hold the pigs in. Okay. You know what I'm talking about? Yep. Okay. So do you like a temporary Just temporary gating? for a temporary shelter. Yeah. And, uh, it's not that cold out. Because yeah, you're cold. working, baby. So as the pigs are in here, they're going to be rooting. Okay. And while this wire may keep them from rooting out underneath. Uh, they're going to root in the middle. They're going to root in the middle, and they're going to eventually root under there and, and lift that up. Yes. So my thought is right. we put one of those. We put it on there and zip tie it together and then put dirt over the top of it. And then they won't be able to root through any of it. Right. And it should be a pretty easy peasy job. Famous last words. Ah, made a mistake. Because they can lift it. Oh, yeah. So, the way you do this, you can get this. So here's the new plan. We're gonna take that gate, we're gonna put it on the end here. I'm gonna buy another gate for there. This is gonna be really smart, watch this. Okay. <laughs> so this gate opens up here. Okay. So let's say we wanna load the pigs or unload them. Yeah. You open this gate up, you chase the pigs from the woods in here. You get them in there, close the gate, lock them in. Okay. Easy, right? Yeah. The cool thing is when you open this gate up here, then we take that gate, we go there, then we got um, access. It Boom. blocks them, yeah. Done deal. Okay. So, so we're not gonna open that metal wire back up then? Well, we could always decide to do that, but there's really no reason to. Gabe's not a fan, but 
he'll see him. He'll see. No, I understand. <laughs> so yeah. herding pigs yeah. into a pen is not an easy no task. So we just solved a big part of it. Essentially right now, we found out that our tin is not long enough, but it's not that bad. Uh, so instead, we were gonna put a gutter capture system on there anyway, but it's kind of solving one of our problems of figuring that out. Instead now, we can just finish the tin right here, where it's at, and then put the gutter just underneath it on those these structural beams here. So the water will fall off into the gutter as it's supposed to. Cool. We don't have any other complications. Then it'll run this way into an IBC tote. It'll then run water into our nipple feeders. So fabulous. Wish that I could stay. Wish for this moment to never go away. But it's all in my mind. Though I know that there is nothing to find You're a beautiful sight in the summer night And you can't put up a fight in the misty light Twelve of them, I think. My goodness, oh my gosh, they are so cute. 